All right, man, it has been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I'm like, I feel bad. I am the worst journaler, blogger, and apparently now video logger, whatever, in the whole world. I find time somehow to read everyone else's blogs every day, but I don't seem to have time to write in mine even once a week. That's sad, but oh well. Anyway, we are on pregnancy week 16. So that was a huge jump between, what was my last one, like, let's see, 7 and 8 to 16. So that's like 8 weeks later. <laughs> so sorry, I've been really, really busy doing shows and stuff for, um, for my school. And uh, yeah, so it, is, I, it has been a while. A lot has happened. Uh, the first thing I think that happened since... The last video, I, th I think I left off saying, oh, I'm so excited to have my first midwife appointment. Well, I had my first midwife appointment. It went pretty well. It was, there wasn't really anything interesting that happened there. I was all, kind of all excited, but nothing, you know, really happened that interesting. Um, but uh, the, the, every time you go in, they make you, like, pee in a cup and weigh yourself. So that was just delightful. Uh, and... According to my uh, samples, I was uh, protein deficient, which was not surprising since I had been eating soda crackers and Sprite for like two weeks. <laughs> so that wasn't surprising. Uh, I'm also a vegetarian, but I don't think it was because of that. I usually still get plenty of protein as a vegetarian. Um, I'm pretty sure it's because I was eating like crap uh, because I was so sick. So, so, so sick. Uh, I was still on like Zofran two to three times a day just to function, just to get, just to, yeah, just to go to work and it was bad. So, oh man, let me tell you, that is not good. Well, um, and let's see what else. So I basically, not, not a whole lot happened after that, uh, between that and my, uh, next pregnancy appointment. Uh, I did have an ultrasound at nine weeks at just fetal photos, so not like through my midwife or anything, but through fetal photos just because I wanted to uh, like make sure that the baby had a heartbeat and everything and to like see it before I announced the pregnancy to everybody because I still hadn't announced it to anyone until I was 10 weeks. Uh, not even, not my family, not not not, not really anybody uh, except for I guess my best friend knew, but she knew it like four weeks because she knew we were trying, but... But anyway, um, other than that, so like my parents didn't know, uh, and that was awesome to get to see the baby. Ah, it's amazing. I, it's one of those things where like you think you're making this all up or something, that these are just some horrible coincidence of symptoms that happen to say pregnancy, but really were something else or something crazy like that, which of course you know is psycho, but not exactly the most rational person always. So Anyway, so that was so great to get to see the baby, and the heart was beating nice and strong, and there it was. So, so it was pretty real at that point. And uh, yeah, so after that, I felt like, hey, we can tell people now. So we had planned to tell everyone at Christmas, and so we did. We bought a stroller, so it's still the only thing we've bought for the baby at 16 weeks, still the only thing we've bought. Um, and today is February 6th, by the way. 2013 so we're kind of going back two months here uh but anyway so yeah so we bought a stroller we bought a really awesome bugaboo stroller that I had wanted for a long time I had this weird stroller obsession don't ask it's weird <sighs> anyway my husband will tell you all about that weirdness but anyway so uh we got the stroller I love it so excited and we first, we told his parents first, so on Sunday, because that was kind of the only day that all of them were going to be together, uh, including like the family from out of town, like his brother and sister-in-law and whatnot. So we covered the stroller kind of in a, well, we couldn't find a bag big enough, so uh, we couldn't find a Christmas bag big enough, so we bought like tablecloths and like super glued them together, like Christmas tablecloths, and then just draped it over it. It was kind of funny. But anyway, so that we, we, Daniel pretended, my husband pretended like it was a gift to me. So he said, hey, you know, I, I have this one last special gift for Cammie. And I acted all like, what are you talking about, you know? And uh, I'm such a good actress. And anyway, and so he brought it in and, uh, and I said, what is this? What is this? And I'm like, it looks like a, 
uh, grill, which it kind of did. And I uncovered it and everyone was like, what? And I said, I'm confused, you know, and I said, we won't be needing this till July. And I think I maybe explained all this already on the other video. So sorry if this is redundant. It's been a while since I did the video and I didn't really watch the last one, which was kind of stupid of me before I made this one. But anyway, so yeah, so that, that was really fun and they were really uh, excited. And uh, so that was amazing. And then we, on, on Christmas, we did the same thing with my family and we got both those on video. So I'll have to upload those. They're pretty fun. And uh, it was so cute. My, they, my whole family just kind of looks at the stroller and they're like, what? And hey, my little sister goes to my mom, mom, you better get over here. Because <laughs> she thought my mom couldn't see from the angle she was at. It was really cute. So, so fun to tell our families. That was a huge highlight so far. Oh, what a blast. It, it They're so happy for us. And it's really hard because my husband, his family lives uh, nearby. So we get to see them a lot. But my family lives in the Middle East in Dubai. And so, um, that's a lot more difficult because now, you know, they're not going to really be here for all of the, all the, the pregnancy and stuff, but they're planning on flying in for when the baby's supposed to be born. So that's great. I'm excited. Uh, so anyway, so that, that was that. And then again, sickness continues, sickness continues. I'm like, finally, I'm, I get into, you know, about 12 weeks, which is where people say it's supposed to stop. It doesn't. Keeps on going. Uh, just still gagging, and I actually started throwing up more as as my pregnancy went on than than at the beginning when the sickness started. So I started, you know, kind of throwing up like every other day, and started doing that other than just kind of gagging and dry heaving all the time. So that was just delightful. Not <sighs> so I hate throwing up; it's disgusting. But anyway, so then I have my second midwife appointment, and uh, they drew my blood at that one. Did ever? Uh, you know, to kind of to do all that blood work. I have, I still don't know what the results were of that or what kind of what they were looking at really. But, but anyway, they had that and then they, I got to listen to the baby's heartbeat uh, through the Doppler. But that was a little bit of a scary moment there because uh, it took them like, it took them like almost, it was like 10 minutes to find the baby's heartbeat. And um, I'm doing this like student midwife program. So at all my appointments and everything I have, like a certified midwife and then as well as a student midwife who's also kind of learning. So she kind of tries stuff first and then the, the, the certified midwife checks everything. So so anyway, the student midwife is doing it for a while and she's just kind of like, huh. And I'm like, why are you saying, huh? Stop saying, huh. And she had warned me, of course, beforehand, but especially at only, you know, 11, 12 weeks, it, it might take a little bit to find the heartbeat through the Doppler. And, uh, and sure enough, it did. And, and there's kind of this funny moment when she's like, hey, do you want to come try, you know, to the certified midwife? And I'm like, why does she have to come try? What's happening? What? Don't come over here. What are you doing? <laughs> can't she find it? Why, why can't she find it? And, uh, and anyway, so the certified midwife starts kind of looking around there for a while and uh, takes her about a good five minutes as well. Um, turns out the baby was just hiding kind of up high, a lot higher than they thought uh, the, the baby would be. And so everything was fine and they found the heartbeat and everything. But let me tell you, that was a long 10 minutes right there. Because that's like everyone's worst fear, I think, in pregnancy is that they'll go in, there won't be a heartbeat. I mean, you hear about it all the time. So I was really, really nervous about that. Um, again, just the fact that this pregnancy, my first pregnancy could go so smoothly. It just seems, well, other than the sickness, um, but it just seemed too good to be true. And I was like, something's bound to happen. That's bad. And, but anyway, all good there. So yay. And I, and I was no longer protein deficient at the second, um, the second appointment, which was great. Cause I had started to be able to eat a little bit more. I still was feeling awful, but most like 99% of the time, but I was at least able to like get more kinds of foods down. Not, it wasn't pleasant, but I could eat them. Unlike just soda crackers and Sprite. So anyway, that went really well. That was just a few uh, a few weeks ago. I have my next appointment uh, next week. And also this Friday, super excited, I get to find out the gender, which I'm also just doing through fetal photos because it's a lot cheaper than uh, to do an ultrasound through my midwife. And I'll have the big like diagnostic ultrasound still at 20 weeks with my midwife and, and then an ultrasound tech. So so anyway, that, that will still happen, you know, not through fetal photos because they're just to look, you know, and they can do gender reveal and stuff like that, but they're not to do anything. They, they, they're not there to do anything kind of medically. But anyway, so that really excited about that. Yeah. Other than telling our families, I think that's the next exciting part. So yay. It's just so hard to buy anything and do anything when you don't know the gender. I know people wait and whatever, and 
But I don't know. As I said, we still haven't bought a single thing except for that stroller. So just because, I don't know. I think this will make it so much more real too, you know, just like be able to picture a certain, a certain sex of the baby. Anyway, so excited about that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So I'm at 16 weeks now, still sick. Um, but it obviously is a lot better than what it was before. As I said, I can eat pretty regularly. I still throw up in the mornings fairly frequently. Um, but I'm starting to feel a lot better kind of in the middle of the day as long as I'm eating like literally every single hour. Uh, and that's kind of hard because most food still isn't particularly enjoyable to eat. Um, so it's still really difficult for me to, to eat at all. And, uh, yeah, but anyway, I, I'm still grateful for any sort of improvement, so I'll take it. <laughs> but I'm just really hoping that this goes away soon. Um, I haven't felt any movement yet. It's 16 weeks. I know kind of this is where a lot of people start sometimes feeling some stuff, but, and they say thinner women, um, tend to feel it earlier and, and I'm pretty thin, so I, I was hoping I could kind of get to feel it really soon, but. Uh, but anyway, I haven't felt anything. And sometimes I try to just like lay down and be still and kind of feel and still can't feel anything. So, but anyway, I'm really excited about that because I've always wondered what that feels like. Yay. Excited to feel that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I've, uh, I weighed myself this morning. I'm still at 135, which is about where I usually am. I usually vary between 130 and 135 regularly just kind of varying in there and I'm at 135 so I guess I'm at my higher end of where I normally are am like weight wise but haven't really gained much weight even though I am definitely getting bigger oh my gosh and I know at first people were like it's probably just bloat but I'm like not anymore let me tell you and I know maybe it's because I'm thin that I'm sh I show more I know sometimes thin people like don't show at all but I think I'm the opposite I'm like showing. Um, I'll, let's see if I can, well, I don't know if I can really, if you can really see, but, um, let's see if, uh, if I can kind of show you here. Um, I'm not wearing the best outfit to show you, but let's see. You can kind of see right here, as I said, this is like a thick skirt, so it's really hard to see, but let me tell you, I have like got it going on right here. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, this skirt really doesn't show it at all. But if I'm wearing just like kind of a tight top, my students at school will even say all the time, Man, you, I see your belly. And I'm like, thanks, guys. That's great. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm definitely getting bigger right here. But for some reason, not really gaining um, much weight. But that will probably change very soon. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I think that's most, mostly it, um, re regarding major symptoms. I mean, my skin is horrific, but frankly, my skin was not that great before, so I don't think that that's really a specific pregnancy problem, although I was kind of hoping that it would get better with pregnancy for some reason. I don't know why, but whatever, it hasn't, so I'm kind of sad about that. But anyway, I guess that's just life sometimes, but so I think that's it. And uh, that is 16 weeks, and I, at my next update here, I should be able to talk about gender. Woohoo! Or excuse me, sex. Wrong word. Um, yay. Okay, yay for 16 weeks. Over and out.